Good evening. I'm uh, Shannon Harden, and uh, on behalf of uh, my colleagues on Columbus City Council, thank you for being here tonight. I would like to start off by recognizing, of course, uh, our leader, President Andy Ginther, who is here um, and who uh, is a strong ally of the community. Also, Councilmember Jiza Page and Councilmember Eileen Paley. We're also joined tonight uh, by Stonewall uh, Columbus President Carla Rothen, Chris Kozad from the Mayor, uh, Mayor Michael B. Coleman's office, who is the LGBT liaison to the office, and Ms. Julie Applegate from Columbus Public Health. Earlier this evening, the City Council presented Stonewall Columbus with a resolution recognizing the 34 years of service to this community and to celebrate this year's 2015 Pride Parade Festival. Columbus is one of the nation's most LGBT-friendly cities, and that's something that we can all be proud of. And as a symbol of the city's support for our community, we're lighting City Hall the colors of our rainbow tonight to show the world our pride in all of our citizens. And we should, we should take pride in that. This is a really uh, exciting year for our community. Uh, in a few weeks, we will hear from the Supreme Court with a monumental decision that will affect all of our lives. And as excited as I am about that, and, and as we are uh, so excited this, this uh, week and we celebrate and we have fun and we, we march, uh, we talked about this tonight at council, uh, that the services still are, need, are still needed. And so I'm so, I'm so grateful for uh, the work that Stonewall does in the community. So grateful for all of the, the folks that are, are doing the great work. Uh, we have the prep peel. Uh, that we need to have, continue to have conversations on as folks, as a new uh, tool in our arsenal to prevent the, prevent the spread of HIV. Uh, we have young uh, LGBT uh, folks in our community who are still homeless, uh, many uh, folks of color. And so as excited as we are this week and as we're going to celebrate, and I can't wait to, to march on Saturday, we got to keep up the fight, we got to keep up the work. Uh, and this is tonight uh, in and lighting City Hall and hanging the uh, Stonewall Lane, uh, proclaim, proclaim, proclaiming Stonewall Lane, we still have work to do. And so i uh, really proud of that. Uh, and uh, like I said, really proud of, of, uh, of our city. Uh, it's with that that I'm excited to announce uh, Council President Ginther. Um, uh, when I was appointed to Columbus City Council uh, as an openly gay member uh, of, of the council, it was a big deal, but I thought it spoke more to the council president, this team, and our city leadership that, uh, that they uh, saw the value in having all communities represented. Uh, and that was led by President Andy Ginther. This council has been very supportive of our community for years, uh, and I appreciate their support. And with that, uh, President Ginther. Well, you all in the city of Columbus is now figuring out why it was so easy for our uh, myself and our council colleagues to unanimously uh, select Council Member Harden, an outstanding public servant who's hit the ground running working on behalf of all of the great people of this city. Um, Columbus is a pretty special place, a place where we don't talk about welcoming and including all people. Uh, we show it and we do it. And the people of this city, after helping to support our efforts to make sure we had a domestic partner ship registry in place, offer domestic partner benefits, update our anti-discrimination language that actually was passed some 25 years ago under the leadership of outstanding council members named Lazarus and Coleman. Uh, we updated it to include uh, gender identity and expression to make sure that everyone in this city is protected. Well, the people of Columbus said, uh, that's good, but not good enough. And so the people of Columbus uh, have added uh, discrimination against uh, LGBTQA uh, folks in this community into the city's charter, our constitution. So regardless of who follows in the footsteps of mayors and council members and other public servants, the people of Columbus have said this is non-negotiable. This is a city that values inclusion, diversity, tolerance, and acceptance. And that's why, that's absolutely great. So we're the only city in the state of Ohio to have that in our city charter, our constitution. And nothing is more importantly or expresses our deeply held beliefs and values than our charter. So I'm thrilled to be here tonight 
as we uh, display our colors as a community. Uh, and we know that uh, Columbus is always better when we work together to lift up our great city and our great people. I am very honored to introduce uh, uh, Carla Rothen, who is an amazing advocate and service provider in our community uh, who has helped to really transform uh, Stonewall Columbus and taken it to new levels of involvement and service in our great community. Uh, Carla, we wouldn't be here, we wouldn't be as a city uh, what we are today without you, your leadership in Stonewall Columbus. Please welcome Carla Rothen. Thank you. Thank you so much. My our board president, Brian Shin, is here. I'm so glad to see you. I think you were probably here about 34 years ago when we marched. You were just a wee little boy. <laughs> oh, so 1981, what a historic uh, day it is today. But of course, that day when Stonewall Columbus was born, we took to the streets and we made change. And now, 2015, our theme, be the change that you want to see in the world. And there isn't anybody in this world that has had uh, a more change in their organization, more change in their city than Stonewall Columbus and Columbus, Ohio. So we are so glad to be here 34 years later and see all of this change. But we wouldn't have it, let me tell you, without this government. And the government of the people for the people. And President Gipther leading that government right now tonight and as a leader in this community, and of course, Shannon and all of our city council members, our mayor's office, because you know, not every city's like Columbus, Ohio. We're one of the top 10 prides in the, in the country. We, we fund this little community center that does programs and services all year long for the community, but we would not be here without them as well. So we want to thank them for their leadership and their support. You know, when I go to city council and I talk about our human services and, and we receive funding for that, it's very important for our city to know that we are helping people that are low to middle income families and individuals that do not have family at all and they do not have anyone to help them. So we are doing that. These are the most underserved of our population. So that's very important. And then, of course, our community center. We purchased these buildings a long time ago. And what does our city do? They help us maintain them, renovate them, restore them, and make them the jewel that they will be for the nation as we move forward into the future for Stonewall Columbus. So, so that, it doesn't just happen overnight, it took 34 years, but it doesn't happen with great, without great leadership. And that's what we have in our city. So we really want to thank everyone for that. Jim Bergefell is going to be our Grand Marshal this year. He's at the forefront of this marriage equality. He's from that, that city down south. We don't want to talk about that. Cincinnati. He's not here from Columbus. However, that's okay. One of our sister cities that has made great change, too. And we're honoring individuals in the community, 12 of them that have made change and significant contributions. So we're really grateful to be able to do that. You know, we already had a gay street. I don't know. I guess now we got Stonewall Pride Lane. Um, but uh, we're very, very grateful for that and this support that has come uh, this week has been overwhelming. So thank you on behalf of the Board of Trustees and the 500 volunteers and the eight person staff that create this crazy week. Um, I want to thank you sincerely for everything that you're doing to make it a, a fun and exciting and meaningful Pride holiday. So thank you. Good evening and happy Pride, everyone. I am excited to be here. I'm excited to be here uh, representing our mayor, Mike Coleman. He could not be here this evening, but he sends his regards. Uh, I don't know. I think we got a natural rainbow. I think Shannon may have uh, trumped the mayor on, on rainbow. Um, <laughs> but again, I want to thank you all for being here. I am uh, proud to serve as Mayor Coleman's liaison and as your liaison. Uh, to the LGBT community. Uh, Pride is one of my favorite things. I've been involved with Pride since I think the second year. I wasn't at the first year, but I started volunteering, working security at the second Pride, and I have missed maybe one or two since then. Um, 46 years ago, on a hot summer night in New York City, the drag queens and the butch dykes had had enough, and they fought back, and our movement was born. In 1981, 
Jerry Falwell and the major moral majority tried to come to Columbus. Stonewall Union in those days, Stonewall Columbus now, was formed and they didn't come. That next spring, a handful of people, many of them with disguises and bags over their head, showed up to be a little proud at the very first Columbus Gay Pride March. Columbus has a long history of supporting our community. Uh, you've heard mention of it, and I want to thank uh, President uh, Ginther, Councilman Hardin, Councilwoman Page, Councilwoman Paley for being here. Our elected officials have stood with us steadfastly over the years, uh, never afraid to accept the community's support uh, and to show up at our events and, and be a part of what makes Columbus a great place to be. Um, Stonewall has been doing great things in this town for a long time. And I got to tell you that Be the Change, as the theme this year, really hit my heart because that's what it's all about. Yes, we want to celebrate who we are and we want to have a great Pride weekend, but we want to remember where we came from. And we want to remember, as Shannon mentioned, we're not finished yet. There is still a lot of work to be done. Even when the Supremes announce marriage equality, which we know it's coming, we're not finished. You can still lose your job in Ohio for being gay. You can still lose custody of your children in Ohio for being gay. You can be beaten for being gay, and it won't be prosecuted as a hate crime. There's a lot of work to do in Ohio, and we uh, are comfortable and pretty well situated here in Columbus, but we cannot forget that when we step outside the city limits and our friends who live in the burbs don't have that kind of protection. We don't have that kind of protection on a national level. So we are not finished. We are not safe. We are not equal yet. And it's been one of my personal passions. I've been in this fight and in this movement for a long time, more than 34 years. And I am living proof of being part of the change. So I challenge you, be the change you want to see in the world. I just love that theme so much. If you are not a part of the solution, you're part of the problem. And I'm going to close with an old quote that a couple of you will probably remember from one of my mentors, Rhonda Rivera, who said, if you wake up in bed and the person next to you is of the same sex, you're in politics. Be the change you want to see. And don't take anything for granted. Again, be the change you want to see in the world. Thank you all for being here, uh, and good night. Well, am I supposed to introduce Julia? I'm going to introduce Julia. Why not? Julia Applegate um, has recently uh, be become one of my colleagues. We've worked together on a few projects here of late, and uh, I'm very impressed. I'm impressed with her passion, with her commitment, She works at the uh, city health department, and she has done some great things there with the LGBT health initiative. She is helping make a difference. She is being the change she wants to see in our world and in our city. So please join me in welcoming Julia Applegate. Thank you, Chris. Thank you. Thank you very much, Chris. Um, and while we've only recently become colleagues, you may not be aware of this, but um, I've been in Columbus since 1993, and Throughout that entire time, and I, I remember marching right down here on Front Street going south when the parade used to go that way. Um, Chris, people like you who have been living what you're talking about being that change influenced me greatly um, in the work that I was doing in my 20s and 30s and now 40s in Columbus. So, yes, I work at the City Health Department. I work on the LGBTQ Health Initiative. I wanted to, on behalf of Health Commissioner um, Teresa Long, thank Councilmember Hardin and um, President Genther, Councilmember Page and um, Councilwoman um, Paley for supporting us tonight um, for the entire community and more importantly, or maybe not more importantly, but also just to note that at the health department we are using city tax dollars to do this work and I think that shows a great commitment to this community. Um, the, the, health, the city has been supporting our Stonewall Community Center for many years 
But to take that next step and to hire um, some staff people at the health department to work on the health needs of our LGBTQ community, I think demonstrates a great commitment to, um, as Carla said, serving our underserved community. So again, while we will march on Saturday and celebrate all weekend with pride and um, reminding people to be the change they want to see, We'll go back to work on Monday and continue to look at all of those health disparities that affect our community and be grateful and thankful that we live in a city where we are supported by the government and our community to make that change happen. So thank you all for coming out tonight and thanks for inviting us from the health department. And now, and now to, uh, for the exciting part, can I have council member uh, Paige and Paley come up and lead us in the countdown uh, as we switch the, the city hall colors? And we also have the, the mock signs for, that are up uh, on the street. So let's all come together and take a, a picture with the signs.